Hello everyone, For Women in India is back with another video. And in today's video, we'll be talking about Dalit activists in India as we enter into the Dalit History Month. The Dalit History Month is celebrated in the month of April every year. That is the birth month of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, father of Indian constitution, who himself has been a key personality in the Dalit struggle. Around the country, this month is marked with lectures, seminars, and art exhibitions on Dalit culture and history. In this video, we'll tell you about the Dalit women activists that you must know about as their activism is making waves in the online as well as offline spaces for Dalits in India. The first woman on our list is Radhika Vemula. Radhika Vemula has been actively campaigning for the rights of Dalits, especially students, ever since the death of her son Rohit Vemula due to suicide. It is extremely inspiring to see her become one of the leading voices of Dalit activism in the country as she had said that her son has left her a responsibility to fight for Dalits in the country. She said in an interview, Rohit left me a huge responsibility. I will not rest until I have fulfilled it. As a mother, I am still experiencing grief, but that will not stop me or even slow me down. Next up we have Yashika Dutt. Yashika Dutt is a writer journalist based in the United States of America and she has been involved in Dalit activism primarily through her literary works and social media. She has authored the book Coming Out as a Dalit and has previously worked with publications like in the Sun Times and Asian News. Ruth Manorma. Ruth Manorma is a Bangalore-based social activist who founded National Federation of Dalit Women in 1995, an NGO that promotes the right of Dalit women. She was also awarded the prestigious Right Livelihood Award, known as Alternative Nobel Prize for Human Rights in 2006. She has been an active part of the struggle for the rights and welfare of domestic workers, unorganized sector labor, and urban slum dwellers. Next in the list, we have Bina Palikar. Bina Palikal, General Secretary of Economic and Educational Rights for the National Campaign on Dalit Human Rights, has previously served in several leadership positions in both the state and central governments, working towards gender equality and caste annihilation and financial independence of Adivasis and Dalit women. Cynthia Stephen. Cynthia Stephen is a Dalit activist, writer, researcher, independent journalist, and has written numerous articles and chapters for books on issues of Dalit women, Brahminical patriarchy, caste discrimination, etc. She is also serving as the president of the Training and Editorial and Development Service Trust. Next on the list, we have Ria Singh. Ria Singh is a doctoral researcher at Delhi's Ambedkar University and research and advocacy officer at Dalit Women Fight, India's largest Dalit women led collective. She has been an active part of Dalit activism in the online space as well. Last but definitely not the least, Than Mose Sondranjan. She's a Dalit rights activist, storyteller, songwriter, musician, and the executive director of an Ambedkarite organization called Equality Labs based in the United States of America. Through her work, she voices the issues and aspirations of the marginalized communities. This list is of course not exhaustive. Please tell us about more Dalit women activists in the comment sections. It goes without saying that Dalit activism exists and is going strong because of such strong men and women who continue to raise their voice, come what me. That's it for this video. Thank you. If you like our videos, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive notification of our latest videos. Thank you.